Hello and welcome back to this channel. My name is Timon and today we are exploring Andorra together. Andorra is a small landlocked country located in the Eastern Pyrenees mountains between Spain and France. It is the sixth smallest country in Europe with an area of approximate 181 square miles. Andorra has a population of around 77,000 people and the official language is Catalan. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the most interesting sites of Andorra's capital, Andorra la Vella, so you know what you can look out for when you visit the city yourself. And make sure to watch until the end of the video to get some important tips regarding your upcoming trip to Andorra la Vella. Andorra la Vella is the capital and largest city of Andorra. It is located in the central part of the country, in the valley of Valira d'Orion river. Our first stop of the day is the Roman Catholic Sant Esteve church. The church was built in the 11th century, although it has undergone several renovations and expansions over the years. The church is a Romanesque style building and there are many frescoes and other artistic decorations inside and outside. The church also houses the tomb of the first bishop of Andorra, who is said to have brought Christianity to the country in the 8th century. Unfortunately, the church was closed, however, when we were there, so we could just admire it from the outside. Right next door, though, we found this beautiful wall painting that fits in perfectly with its backdrop, and that certainly made up for it. Just around the corner, you can find the Casa de Laval. The Casa de Laval is the seat of the General Council of Andorra, the country's legislative body. The Casa de Laval is an important cultural and political landmark in Andorra and is also a popular tourist attraction. It was built in the 16th century and just like the church we just talked about, it has undergone several renovations and expansions over the years. It is a Renaissance style building with a rectangular floor plan and a stone facade. Inside the Casa de Laval, Visitors can explore the main hall and the council chamber, where the country's lawmakers meet. The building also houses a museum, which displays objects related to Andorra's history and culture. The entry to the building is 5 euros per person. Finally, it was time to explore the shopping street of Andorra la Vella. The city is known for its duty-free status, which means that many goods such as electronics, perfumes, clothing, can be purchased at a lower price than in other European countries. As a result, Andorra la Vella is a popular shopping destination for tourists who come to the city to buy these and other items. Shopping in Andorra la Vella is also a cultural experience. Many of the goods that are sold in the city are locally produced or imported from other countries. And these products reflect the diverse cultural influences that have shaped Andorra's history and culture over the years. Here are some other landmarks you should see when you're in Andorra la Vella. Check out the Saint Pierre Martyr Church, the Caldea Spa if you have some extra time on your hand and want to relax, and the Central Park for a break in the middle of your day. Alright, and here we go with the important tips for your visit. The closest airport to Andorra la Vella is Barcelona. There are no airports in Andorra itself, so keep that in mind if you want to travel to Andorra. To get from Barcelona to Andorra la Vella, you can take a bus or a taxi. There are several companies that operate regular services between the airport and Andorra, and the journey takes around three to four hours. There are also several other airports in the area, such as Toulouse and Carcassonne, but those are a bit further away. Tip number two, pack appropriately. Andorra la Vella is located in the Pyrenees Mountains, so the weather can be quite variable. It's a good idea to pack clothing and gear that are suitable for warm and cold weather. Tip number three, Andorra la Vella is located in the mountains, so there are so many opportunities and things to do outside of the city. So consider that, make your trip longer and get out and enjoy the beautiful outdoors of Andorra. Finally, learn some basic Catalan before you go. It is the official language of Andorra after all. And although Spanish and English are widely spoken, it helps to know some basic Catalan phrases and they can help you to communicate with locals and make some friends. I hope you enjoyed learning about Andorra la Vella. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.